SGC here, and we're back for Wednesday's Comics Time. First up is Gotham by Midnight Issue 3. After Issue 2's whole nun incident, we now have a new arc with the hospital. And again, it's Temple Smith and Ray Fox. I have to say, it was pretty intense. The whole shadow crazy monster thing. Like, the stakes are high. But I realize that there's not a lot of red shirts, so even if they do kill off people, they don't really have people to kill off. So maybe have more people dying that are essential, as in maybe fellow police officers. That's going to be a bummer. A lot of, like, collateral damage. But really, I think it's kind of hard to take it risky, say, if you have seen my Agent Carter reviews, that that thing is ridiculously intense because people are not all safe which is like game of thrones here it just feels like everyone on the team is gonna be fine and they're gonna be totally fine and yeah the art pretty fun stuff i mean it's standard temple smith which is fun and just really i feel like i feel like it's like the fell that we won't be getting so i'll hold on to this for now for my fell satisfaction next up effigy new series by vertical Super fun stuff, I would say. We got Marlene Zarcone on art, and it's just simplistic, but there's just a lot of awesome paneling. There's a lot of awesome pacing in terms of the story. It's interesting, because there's this whole superstar fandom thing, and all of a sudden we have these sort of things lying around, and it seems like, where is it going to go? It seems like it's going to be a cop show, it's going to be a superhero thing, or not really. Like, it's just... I was on a TV show, I was a superhero, and overall it was an interesting issue, and I do wonder where it's going to head off to, because there's a lot of potential story arcs already set, a lot of things that could happen, might not happen, and it's just weird too, so that's always nice, you know, weird stuff is always nice to read. Next up we have Bitch Planet number 2, wow, this issue, I would say I enjoyed it a lot more than the first issue. And the art and paneling is just great here. A lot of, like, smart way of dealing with dialogue, keeping up the pacing, and just interesting action sequences. And I totally enjoyed this issue. Now they're setting up this whole team thing. going to be, like, a battle arena. And I totally cannot wait. And it was just fun. A lot of conspiracy going on behind everything. And, and just getting to know characters better. And just to know the world better. Like, this issue is, like, perfect in terms of just everything. Like, the art is great, pacing is great, storytelling, narrative, dialogue, character, awesome stuff. Next up, we have Thor, number four. Thor, Thor. And it seems like things are getting closer to the future of Jason Aaron's future Thor. As in, he's getting his arm back, though it's not the destroyer arm, it's some same material as Mjolnir's arm and then we also got the Thor versus Thor action happening and it's interesting and now there's stuff that are answered as in like what's happening here like who really who is she really what's gonna happen like and it's just fun this is a great issue in terms of action there's a lot of things happening a lot of lightning action sort of crazy killing giants and Thor versus Thor versus Thor and it was just fun, and, and it's just like a progression of the story. And I'm sort of glad that it, they didn't tell me to read, like, Avengers, because Avengers was in trouble, but I love this paneling. Like, just smiling, just zooming off, and, like, looking forward to who she is, and I do look forward to it. And I wonder they don't, oh, they don't change up too much stuff to sort of work around the whole event stuff that's going on. I hope Thor stays Thor, and the focus is on this lady thor i really wonder if we're gonna stick with calling her thor i don't think it's gonna be thor now no lady thoris or thor s or whatever secret avengers 12 we have more of modok's plan and we also got an update on where the heck black widow went and with her there's lady bullseye woman happening and it's just awesome stuff as usual a lot of crazy stuff this time around we got some like kaiju or just monsters in general and see what's gonna happen with that we have this really weird arc or progression with Modok's assistant and it just seems like where's it gonna go and and it's just like now everyone's happy and on a team and it's just uh I didn't see it coming but everything's working out now well except for those who are captured and 
you know, might die. But can't wait for the next issue because look at that. That's just amazing. Like, amazing, amazing. Anyway, Secret Avengers, love it as usual. Next up, They're Not Like Us issue 2. Again, this has been an amazing issue. I love how they incorporated the actual cover into the storyline. That is just amazing, and I love it. And there are no ads, which I also love. And now there's this progression of just feeling what this group is all about, what do they do, why do they do it sort of thing. And it's just realizing if she's going to fit in. And it's sort of like, how are you going to fight someone that can predict the future as in you're not going to join our group and and it's and it's just like it, it's it's gonna be fun i love the art pacing paneling it's just great and no ads that's just awesome 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 stuff like seriously if more were like this it would be like more enjoyable for single issues readers because i mean trade people you don't get ads or you do but it doesn't impact that pacing but here a lot of times like the issues would just turn a page and be a review but actually it's just an ad so this is awesome stuff I totally appreciate this team for not having any ads whatsoever crazy stuff lastly I picked up vertical quarterly I didn't pick up the first three I did order them and I will like talk about them when I do read them but it was amazing I really loved all the short stories here the different style of like art and, and just awesomeness like sure it's pricey but i would say it's totally definitely worth your time also we got sunny liu i totally forgot how awesome his art is because i haven't read it for a long time and i just love it and also just just like all this like different themes and and just just the, the art style and then it's just it's just mind-boggling good and then different story arcs in terms of just dealing with different issues and just different styles so you're getting a lot for a bang group buck though yes it is expensive um and it's and it's just it's gonna be a bummer if, if you don't have the funds to spare but seriously i hope they come up with a trade because seriously people should be reading this stuff because it's just it's just awesome stuff like i can't wait for upcoming brad Grimm's island with him and his crew of doing short story magazine sort of style and i do hope people will just be more open to this style of just magazine like sure dark heart presents is there but for me i felt that i read some dark heart present and the quality isn't that up there in terms of the entire issue like there are some gems here and there but i feel for this one overall it was just great so check it out vertical quarterly there's three issues before this and i will totally talk about them when they come in and that is it for this Wednesday's Comics Time. I hope you found something useful and, you know, hopefully you'll read something I read, talk about here. Because this is why I'm here to share where the things are going, what is good, and what I'm enjoying. So you might check it out. But anyway, that is all for this Wednesday's Comics Time. Out! <coughs>